Okay, we got shut out last night because of rain and clouds and everything. And I thought we would today too, but here we are Tuesday, uh, the 25th of July, 2018, in northeastern Ohio. It's now 8.54 p.m. Sorry, I'm watching for what sounds like a prop plane. I just can't see him. But anyway, yeah, I was uh, disappointed last night because I wanted to get the moon and Saturn as they were dancing partners. But to no avail. But anyway, we're going to switch over to the Nikon and <laughs> that's cool. Except the tree branches are going to be in the way, so I'm going to have to move. Okay, so here we have a 97.2% illuminated moon rising in the southeast. It's up about 14 degrees above the horizon now. And Saturn would be over to the right somewhere, and of course Jupiter over to the uh, further right than that. But of course can't be seen right now. And as usual, I think you all know where I'm going to zero in on. Our Mesa and Light Beam Crater and question marks. Um, it's going backwards. What's going on? The tripod is tight and it just went fucking backwards. I don't want to mess with a zoom. Okay, now it's starting back up. Holy fuck. Um quite strange. I'm glad I have both cameras running. So it's heading back up again. Alright, another glitch in the matrix or what? And a damn tree branch. Shit. Alright, let me move us again. Let's go in the back where, where it won't be an issue. Yeah, I've tightened it down so much that I can barely uh, tilt the... Well, I can't tilt it because it's pretty much locked down. <laughs> huh. Well, that was the oddest thing. I made sure that nothing of me was touching the tripod or the handle of the pan head. I don't know what the hell just happened. I think it was two days ago, three days ago, that somebody I'm in a private group with over in the UK, I think she was in a hall, which is in England. Her and her husband were outside and they both saw the moon just shaken. And I'm not, not talking by camera, you know, some camera anomaly I'm talking about by eye. They're watching it. So there was two of them as a witness and her husband's not a, uh, we'll call it a conspiracy person, like many of us are. <laughs> and they were just, it was just so trippy for them. Now that night I did run out, um, I mean at the time when I saw the post I ran out right then but we had too many clouds then. And by the time I came out that evening and the clouds cleared, that was that last video I put up and and it didn't do any hopping for me, but this was fucking strange. It went backwards on me here. If this video had, hadn't been locked down as tight as it was, uh, you know, I would have blamed it on that, but... No. Okay, and I was hoping for a short video tonight, but... <laughs> Now I'm going to have to keep my eye on this white guy up here. 
doggone. Now it's 9.07 p.m. Okay, I do see Jupiter. And as usual, I'm gonna have trouble with uh, Saturn because of the trees. Doggone, that was weird. So there in the uh, southeast is the moon doing a jig. Saturn is probably in the trees over there. And over here in the south, we now switched over to the cannon. I've dug on it. I don't have the uh, teleconverter on. And it's hard to see the one out in the lead, but it's probably Callisto. So we have two in front and two behind of Jupiter's moons. At least the ones that we can pick out. I believe the count they have of the moons around Jupiter is up in the 80s right now. Some are quite small, which I would probably call asteroids, but that's just me. <laughs> and yeah, it's not going to come in very big because we don't have that teleconverter on, but doggone it. I hate switching things out here. And I like taking pictures with the uh, Canon because because it has RAW and uh, the Nikon doesn't. But the P1000 will. Okay, so there we are. Two down. Okay, I didn't realize it before, but all the footage, not all the footage, but a good portion of the footage I thought I took earlier didn't actually get recorded. <laughs> it's now 11 p.m., well, 10.59, and I was able to get uh, Saturn, or else we see something going. Well, as we see an aircraft going by the moon, heading towards Saturn. And since I was in, I did put the 2X converter on, so... So we're not going to quite get the tilt of Saturn like uh, when it was rising, but now it's more scooting across the sky. And it's almost straightened out. But I thought for sure I'd be able to get both uh, Saturn and Mars this time of night, but <laughs> you know where Mars is going to be. Buried in the trees. Oh well. But yeah, on that other video which got cut off, I don't know what happened with that, that moon going backwards thing. I have to line it up with the other camera and see if it picked it up. But I have so much crap to go through and pictures and all that good stuff. But anyway, yeah, it, uh, what didn't get recorded was me saying goodbye and good night to you. <laughs> I didn't want to leave that video kind of just hanging there, so. But since we were here, I just wanted to get it with this camera, too. Doggone, where's Mars? <laughs> Jupiter's getting pretty low. But you know what? While I'm here, <laughs> since I do have the converter on, and we do get to see the different angles that Jupe's at now and its moons as they're heading down in the southwest. And it's not the best picture of Jupiter, but you kind of work with whatever sky conditions you've got. <laughs> and so we see the different angle of the bands and what it was earlier. Ah, that's cool. So yeah, I looked over the tripod and the, uh, and the mounts for the cameras and everything else, and I could not find anything that would have caused the moon to go backwards because you do want to rule out any equipment malfunction or something like that you always got to test and research you know and yeah so I, I don't know what happened that was just so trippy <laughs> I love weird stuff anyway okay since Mars isn't going to show its face tonight I might be able to get it after all 
It's going to be tricky though. So Mars is dodging some tree branches, but we might be able to get it. And so like everything else tonight, it's not going to come in very well. That's the best we can dial it in. So we're a dusty orange buddy over there. Still rising. And being taken out by the tree again. Alrighty, well, <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said it, but I'm going to wish you all a great night. Take care now. Bye.